Hi, my name is Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator, and this is the 27th time when I'm here with you uh, on Monday producing some quick and easy salon nail art. And today we are going to do something which everyone thinks is really easy, but it's actually not as easy as it looks. Uh, it took me some time really uh, to get the hang of it, and I'm talking about the stamping. We'll be also using some Sharpies as well to create a beautiful, colorful autumn leaves. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below how long did it take you to master the stamping? Uh, I'm really interested. Was it just me uh, which couldn't get the hang of uh, picking up the, uh, the design from the stamping plate? Or maybe you had some troubles with it as well. Uh, but I will show you how I get uh, around it and how uh, you could easily create those uh, e easy autumn uh, leaves for your clients. So let's start. So we are going to do some leaves with the very quick and easy technique uh, using the sharpies uh, as well on a stamping plate and i will show you how to create this kind of look um really good for an uh, one of the nails like when you're doing a clients and you out of the ideas so the first step is to paint um, the nails in a color you choose so i'm going with some kind of light colors uh, which will go with the autumn And this color is like a very, very kind of pastel pink and it's a color number 143 feel good. I have done two coats already on this one just to save a bit of time. And for quickness in a salon, like, I mean, you've got two choices. The first choice, you could top coat it once you do two layers and then buff it to do your stamping. Or you could just use a tiny bit of the UV cleanser and remove the inhibition layer. To do the stamping and uh, sometimes if the colors are not um, too strong and I'm not going to remove much of the color I prefer this technique because it's much quicker I also like to use on my table the baby wipe just so I don't get my desk messy uh, for those kind of designs and then the stamping plate I'm going to use the Moyu uh, the leaves ones and the sharpies so i've got some green yellow oranges maybe i will on this one i will use only yellow red and orange actually i will color in a couple leaves this is really so quick but nice especially for the autumn time and then the stamping polish and my stamper for those who stamping a first time make sure you don't press too strong on picking up the stamper you have to kind of practice it a couple of times and then you get a hang of it so that's the first leaf in and i quite like those all to me feel to it because we able to mix with sharpies all sort of different colors then i just clean my stamper and go on into another leaf. So just roll in. And because those leaves are flying, just kind of place them in a random different way. So another one is going to go somewhere here. So you can see it how nice it looks. If you get any places where you have touched and you don't like those places, just use a tiny bit of the nail polish remover uh, to clean those spaces. Uh, but I do really love this look uh, and it's so quick. I show you one more uh, where we maybe mix a different colors. But actually I like the, maybe I don't mix another colors. I do love this one. I'm not the fan of the green one, maybe just a yellow and a green, but I think the orange and the red ones are the nicest. So you have to give it a couple seconds to dry and then we can apply the top coat to seal all the design. So that's the finished look. I'm going to cure it now. 
I like those kind of techniques where we can just uh, play with some simple and easy uh, kind of quick uh, work. And the clients are really impressed, like uh, especially it took me a really long time uh, to get uh, the hang of the stampings. And quite often it was just much quicker for me to pick up my brush and freehand something rather than playing with the stamps. It was like constantly I couldn't pick it off. So just once again, for those ones who... Uh, don't know how to do it. I will do it slowly, maybe with the white, just so it's easier. And let's pick up the leaf. Actually, the ghost will look cool as well. So you have to clean it quite quick. And if you go and pick it too strong, you are not going to pick it at nice. You can see it. I have missed some places and I was really rough on it. Uh, so that's not the way how you do it. You have to kind of go on it and roll it to pick it up. Be kind of more gentle and uh, don't do it too strong. OK, so I show you again in here. So just clean it nice and quick and then roll it so you can pick up. Oh, that's too much. So you can pick up a nice design. Let's do it again. Again, you don't have to cover a full design. I usually just cover on the side and then using the scraper, I'm just cleaning it and then that's it ready. So make sure you've got the stamper ready and then just pick it up. If you get those kind of wee bits uh, which are um, you, you don't want on your design, just take a tiny bit of the, um, I usually do it with the nail dehydrator and I clean it around it. And then uh, that's, that's the best and the quickest way to pick up uh, the, uh, designs from the stamping plate. I also use the uh, blue scrap to clean it as well and that's what's always quicker because I don't need too many bottles of the different kind of products on my desk. Uh, I can just stick with the same ones and uh, it's just lots of time saving for me. So this is a second layer on, tiny bit of the blue scrap, clean it and then we can do and what colors maybe this green for a change that's a nice one too so green yellow and a darker green and again yellow orange and a red and then red orange and the yellow. So that looks really, really nice already. And then just a tiny bit of the stamping polish. And pick up my design. So it looks really nice. So as you can see, when the time is going on in this video, it just takes a couple seconds really to pick it up and place on your needle. I hope you have enjoyed watching this quick tutorial and the fun with the Sharpies. Uh, if you've got any other ideas how you could use Sharpies, I know you can do some marbles and other different things. Uh, you could also paint it like I have created one with the tie dye and you can see it on my channel as well. Like when we use the Sharpies to uh, draw the design, I think it is a really great if we can like introduce those different kind of medias uh, into the needles uh, to make our work more interesting and also uh, much quicker as well. So here I'm just removing unwanted paint and then we can apply the top coat. That's them all finished. Totally out to me look. So thanks for watching.